So I was about to I was about to uh, film a uh, record a video based on something I saw yesterday. Um, but before that happened, I'm sorry, I meant I was about to do nothing uh, and just, you know, sit in my AC room and be a professional vagrant. But uh, before that happened, I ran into another bout of a blue tick drum. And I thought for once in my life, I would rant about it because I'm fed up, absolutely fed up of, um, just, just, of, just, of the censoring of uh, what real life is like, uh, in my life at least. Um, so yeah, this goes out to anybody that uh, might be doing the following behaviors and causing what I now refer to officially as blue tick drama. Um, you might know these people. You might have these types of people in your life. So pleasant. Um, if I send you a text and multiple times you read the text, blue tick it, and then do not respond or forget to respond. And you do this habitually over an elongated period, elongated period of time. I'm talking years to the point it becomes a habit, you know, uh, and then I get annoyed at the fact that, you know, you don't respond to messages, you blue tick them instead. And then you respond back to me uh, with, um, uh, with a sort of a defense of like, I was busy, I was doing this, I was doing that, blah, blah, blah. And also indirectly imply that I won't understand what it means to be busy because all I do is sit in my AC room all day being a professional vagrant. So how would I possibly know what it is to be busy and to have other things to do? And you know, it's a message after all. I can, I can just read it if I want to know. I can open it if I want to know. Yeah, that's not the problem. You opening it is not the problem. You can obviously open whatever you want. The problem is that you tend to not respond. So don't come at me with some defense about how you're busy and how I wouldn't understand what it is like to be busy because I would never understand what it's like to be busy considering I'm a professional vagrant. Um, uh, the issue is not you opening it. The issue is that you tend to not respond. And I had to keep prompting and sending question marks and like, mm -hmm, hello, and now it's come to a point where I'm just like, I have divided my my friend groups into two that are blue tick friends these are friends sorry what am i saying there are there are there are friends that are called only friends these are friends who have this blue tick problem meaning i would prefer to communicate with y'all via call only so if you reply send a text to me don't expect to reply because after all, it's just a message. I can open it and I can just look at it if I want to. And I can just not respond if I don't want to. Yeah. So if you want a response from me, then call me. And if I want a response from you, after this, I will call you only. That is the um, call only category. And the rest falls under the other category of people that I can communicate with via text. Because generally, there is a response. There is a, you know, a back and forth uh, type of situation rather than like a abrupt conversation ending. Imagine if that happened in real life, like... Hey, how are you today? I'm sorry, your phone is not a mirror. It's not just meant to be stared at. Generally, it's meant like when a message comes, it's meant to be replied to. Um, but apparently, I mean, what do I know? Anyways, after all, I'm, I'm just a, you know, I'm, I'm a, just a professional vagrant who spends all his time in the room doing absolutely nothing with the AC on. So that's another thing. For some reason, this AC keeps coming up all the time. If the AC is on and you're in the room lazing around and doing nothing, then you're extra lazy. If you have an AC, you are extra lazy. If the AC is not there, it's just the fan at least, even though you're that, not that lazy. Yeah. I'm fed up. Fed up of this Sri Lankan mentality of how we... Uh, how we think of what is productive and what isn't productive. Like, if I am in bed like this on my laptop editing something, my grandma's going, ah, staring at the screen the whole day. You're just wasting your life, blah, blah, blah. But if I'm like, you know, if I'm seated, if I'm seated on a chair and like, you know, 
I am such a good boy. I'm reading a book. I'm doing something productive. I could be reading a porn magazine, you stupid. Cannot. Cannot. This country and the people in it are driven ahead. Anyways, I thought I'd just do a quick rant since this recent incident. <laughs> And just to remind all of you that after all, I am just a professional vagrant. A certified, registered, professional vagrant. Who just has no clue what it means to be busy. So please, please, come. Come, come bit at me about how I don't understand what it means to be busy. And so therefore, how could I even understand what it means to not have, you know, not respond to messages. And not communicate to a text. I'm going to go shower now, and then, you know, do that uh, film, that thing that I was planning to film. Uh, AKA, do nothing, and be unproductive, and stay in my room, AC room, doing nothing, and being a professional vagrant. Bye.